This is going to be a special gift for a good friend of mine, Polly, who has Polly's World, which is a great cooking channel on YouTube. I'm going to take this bad boy right here, this wire spool table, I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to do a little stencil and a little epoxy, and I'm going to make him a nice pub table. So I'll get this thing nice and safe, get all the burrs off, get all the nails, screws, anything that's sticking out, because this did actually come from the job site. They get recycled uh, by the electricians or thrown in the trash. So before it got thrown in the trash, um, I grabbed a couple of these. Okay, when you take these spools apart that hold all these wire, when they're all done, you take them apart, you get two tables. So that's four, but anyway, you get two. So I got a couple of these. All right, so before I paint, what I did was I put my stencil down and then I taped off the area. So I recommend this stuff. I like it. So it's it's uh, Scotch Scotch Blue. Okay. Um, it, call, it says edge lock, all right? So it's basically the blue tape that you use, the painter's tape, and it comes with like two feet of plastic. So you stick that tape down, then you pull the sheet out, and this is what I did here, okay? You stick the tape down where you want it, and you pull the sheet out, and it covers this thing nice. So now I can, st now I can spray. I don't have to worry about overspray getting all over everything. Alright, here's my table so far. Got my stencils done. Got my Starfleet electric uh, stamp. Got my ship number. And the USS Enterprise D. I sprayed it down before I do my epoxy with crystal clear enamel. Alright, it's got a glossy finish to it. And it's a Rust-Oleum product. All right, so I sprayed this thing down. All right, so I was waiting on a few things to arrive. Okay, one of them was this base. All right, it was two pieces. It came, it came with the bottom in, in one box and the top in one box. Literally one screw that's attached through this thing. You screw it through, it's got a washer and a nut. Done, this thing's all set. All set. Anyway, and then it came with screws to mount. It was awesome. Thing was like 49 bucks. I got it, uh, with a gift card, so it cost me like 30 bucks about. All right, so I'm using Ultra Clear DAP Flexible All-Purpose Waterproof Sealant. I'm gonna fill up all these cracks and these lines in here, because if I don't, I'm probably gonna have to fill up a crap ton of epoxy, and that stuff's been, uh, it's expensive, so. I'm gonna try to fill these holes with clear epoxy, and then I have a light strip that's gonna go underneath. So these blue lights will look cool from the top, and then the lights underneath that are blue, the strip lights I got, will hopefully uh, illuminate these clear spots. And then, uh, I got these in the mail the other day. It was like a special. So you got two two of these light strips that has a little remote and it is battery operated. So what I'm gonna do is run these lights through the center so it illuminates on the other side, the top, and then I'm gonna run them around this thing so the bottom hole looks like a spaceship is what I'm hoping. This little thing plugs in, it changes colors. Leave it one color, changes colors, blinks, whatever. So I'll stick this thing on. It's got a sticky back. Holy crap. This base I haven't put on yet, but I shimmed it up not to, so that I didn't crush my light strip. So I have little composite shims around here, all the way around to keep that base up just a little, not to squish it. And now I'm gonna screw this thing in so the legs will be uh, attached. I'll flip this thing over and then we'll work on the top.
All right, so I got my table base on. I've leveled it going this way, and I've leveled it going this way. I used some shims under the legs because the legs have four corners, so I stuffed them under each corner. Got this thing level both ways so that when I pour, my pour is consistent. It'll be nice and flat, not tilted on an angle, and more, more stuff going this way or more going this way. So you gotta level first, that's most important. No vodka in there. Virotex Light. It says pour on high gloss finish. Abaco Brillante. Alright, this is uh, 32 ounces. Two 16 ounce bottles. One is hardener and one is red, uh, resin. Okay, so I took this one, poured it in my uh, mixing cup, and then I poured this one in. Equal amounts, no matter how much it is, it's got to be equal. Okay, even Steven. Alright. All right, so this is the underside of my table. I used a very sticky metal tape that the HVAC, HVAC guys use on their ductwork at work that uh, one of the guys gave me, gave me like half a roll. So it's a little expensive, but I got it for free. But it's metallic, and I thought it would help shine these lights that I put underneath here. I did actually take the light that I had wrapped around this thing off, the battery powered light, because it just was not bright enough and since I'm giving this thing to Paul to probably use outside and grill I uh, I pulled it off it kind of worked like crap I hate to say it and the small string that goes through the middle underneath and shines up through that actually worked all right pretty good that's still battery so it's not that bright so I changed went back to uh, actually went to Home Depot and I grabbed this pack same one that I used in my entertainment center video and this thing has a remote control and all these lights can be different colors and they can go on and off you can set a timer so it's pretty cool That's it. This is for you. Yes. Take it off. Save this. You're gonna want that. Is this a blanket? This is not the blanket. This is mine. Holy shit, Sue. Yeah, this bad boy. Wow, yeah. Jahani. Wow. This is the uh, leftover from the Starfleet uh, electrical yeah. company, you know? They left this Look wire with that. Johnny, man. We just gotta get a shim and hold this thing up. Yeah, the flow's uneven. Are you kidding me, man? Whoa. Cool. What do you think? You like it? Dude, that is unbelievable. Get a close up, Anthony. See if you can see it. Johnny. Really? Yeah, buddy. You need a grill table. Here's your grill table. Unless you want to put it in your house. I don't know if you like it. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, man. Johnny. 
Sweet, buddy. Love you, brother. All right, bro. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so I got some lights and shit. We'll do that after. Okay. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Anthony.